Hi, welcome to the Cult TV Sofa. This is a reaction video for the second episode of Season 2 of Buffy the Vampire Slayer called Some Assembly Required. So is it another uh, robot episode? Uh, last time we saw the aftermath of the end of Season 1 as Buffy came to terms with having died and was pushing everyone away from her. She stopped a ceremony which could have brought the Master back to life and then smashed his bones, which hopefully brought her closure um, and helped to repair the damage between her and her friends. So let's see what happens in this episode. I'm going to put any relevant trivia that I find over here and at the end of the reaction I'm going to be discussing what happened and my thoughts about the episode. Um, I apologise if I look a bit uh, tired. Um, I didn't sleep very well last night uh, and I was up at half six this morning to record the new Mandalorian uh, reaction as soon as it came out. Uh, go and check it out if you get a chance. Uh, and it's now late afternoon and I'm, it's starting to take its effect but I needed to get this video recorded. So if I fall asleep just give me a nudge that would be appreciated. Thank you. So I'm going to start it in three, two, one. Come on, <laughs> Steph, really rise and shine. Some of us have a ton of trick homework waiting. So she's waiting for a vampire. So she knows he's coming. I just thought you'd have somebody with you. Xander or someone. A little jealous. Why? Are you jealous? <laughs> it's just a kid. So she... <laughs> I love the way she improvises and uses things around her. Oh, no, you don't. You can't just turn and walk away from me like that. It takes more than that to get rid of me. <laughs> you okay? I wish had a comfy landing. Another vampire has risen tonight. Well, no, that's dug up. The entire grave's open, so yeah, it's been dug up. She was dragged from it. So someone's taken her body, as you do. Uh, a, a social engagement, uh, uh, a date, if you're amenable. You idiot! Boy, I guess we never realized how much you liked that chair. Was the invisible girl back? You might want to leave off the idiot part. <laughs> Being called an idiot tends to take people out of the dating mood. It does. I've tried it. It doesn't work. Now is it time to have a talk about the facts of life? <laughs> you know, because that whole stork thing is a smokescreen. What? No, this one was dug up and the body was taken out. Grave robbing? Well, that's new. Interesting. <laughs> I know you meant to say gross. <laughs> yeah. Yes, 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 of course. It's a terrible thing. I have to be, I thought interesting as well. <laughs> I should be a watcher. Would help if we knew who the body belonged to. Meredith Todd. She died recently. She was our age. Now it down, that could be anybody in your school. So is she dead, dug up? Is she alive, zombie dug up, or...? It is not fair that they're making participation in this year's science fair mandatory. I don't think anyone well, should mandatory. have to do anything educational in school if they don't want to. <laughs> the tomato, fruit or vegetable? Cordelia is so fine. You know, she'd be just perfect for us. Don't be an idiot. She's alive. Okay, so I'm going to go out on a limb and say they could be the ones who dug up the body. Meredith Todd died in a car accident last week. It says that Meredith and two other girls in the car were killed instantly. She died from natural causes. Someone trying to resurrect her? So we should see if the other girls from the accident are AWOL too. And we can figure out what this creep has in mind if we know whether or not he's dealing in volume. <laughs> Always good to get zombies in bulk. Let's keep a few spare just in case. I couldn't believe Angel. He was acting all jealous and he wouldn't even admit it. <laughs> Sat out a picnic on the on the graves. You know, this might go a lot faster if you Fims actually picked up a shovel too. Oh god, they look exhausted. I was raised to believe that men dig up the corpses and women have the babies. <laughs> Daryl Lapps, Chris's older brother. He was a big football star. All state two years ago. He died. Rock climbing or something, he fell. By the way, are we hoping to find a body or no body? Body would mean flesh-eating demon. No body would point towards the uh, army of zombies thing. Oh. Take your pick, really. Yeah, go either way. Drum roll, please. Ah, oh, 
Body or no body? It could, that could be a new quiz game, couldn't it? Let's play body or no body. Well, have we got a feeling she's going to be taken? She's always been taken. God, she must have been scared to hide in the bin. <laughs> Yeah. This is the last place oh. I expected you to hang out. Do you want a hand getting out? Oh, you already got one. So both coffins are empty. That makes three girls signed up for the army of zombies. Ah, empty. We found some of them. You mean like two of the three? I mean like some of them. Oh, parts. Why go to all the trouble to dig up three girls only to chop them up and throw them away? It doesn't make any sense. Were all the parts in the bin? What I saw didn't add up to three whole girls. I think they kept some parts. Right. Great. I'll try. Does she know he's a vampire? I'm not sure I remember her ever being there when they said he's a vampire. Or her seeing him as a vampire. So, don't know. I'm going out, Mom. So his brother died and he was a football player. She's watching, I'm assuming, her son play football. And she's ignoring the son who's alive. Grey's Anatomy, Mortician's Desk Reference, <laughs> Robichaud's Guide to Muscles and Tendons. Yeah, a bit better reading. Is involved. I guess you so they're say putting the parts together and making a girl? Weird science. She's not going to be anybody's baby if we don't finish her soon. I'm working on it. So am I, friend. So am I. It's be weird having somebody made of different parts, though. If it works. I don't get it. Why would anybody want to make a girl? Why would you need to make a girl? I mean, just get dolls and stuff, and they're easy to fold up. They go under the bed. Um, anyway. Would it uh, appear indecorous? Uh, no, not not in, in, indecorous. Uh. Indecorous. Never heard that word. Hey, listen. If it's important, why don't you just tell me at the game? You're going too, right? Oh. Of course, always. Betty wasn't. So we should just go together. Look, I could pick you up after school and we'll grab a bite to eat on the way if you like. How do you feel about Mexican? <laughs> it's a date. The remains. The police have finished sorting through them and apparently they found three heads in the dumpster. They only had three girls. Precisely. So they don't have the whole uh, package? Heads must be no good. So they need another head. Based on what the police have put together, I would say they're one step short of completing their masterpiece. They had Willow's picture and Cordelia's picture. We will lose the entire body if we don't attach a head soon. The crash with the girls was lucky. So it was opportunity that those girls had died and they used the bodies. I can't kill anyone. I can't do that. Please don't make me. You promised me, little brother, that I wouldn't be alone. Oh. Okay. Okay, so he's making a girlfriend for his zombie dead brother. I think this is based on a true story, this episode. I need someone. Please don't ask me to do this. To be fair, your Tinder profile is going to be a hard sell. Help me, brother. Not bad makeup. This one. <laughs> a man of taste. Had to be. It's like a really bad taste build a bear, isn't it? They're gonna need something really fresh. How fresh? Hmm. As fresh as possible. Alive fresh. Buffy, you don't think that they would I think anyone who cuts dead girls into little pieces does not get the benefit of any doubt. It's the next step, isn't it? If you go certain go so far, then you just go a little bit further. Don't be too hard on Chris. I mean, he's not a vampire. No. It's just a ghoul. Who's planning to kill someone? Is it a murderer? Hi, um, I'm a friend of Chris's. I kind of need to talk to him. Uh, do you know if he's home? 
engaging kind of lady, isn't she? I'm assuming she's kind of traumatised and depressed by her son dying. She obviously needs some help. Chris, you scared me. What are you doing in here? But to decapitate you. <laughs> That's a bit off that he's acted all sort of holier than thou as if, you know, turn his head away. He's part of it. Can't take the high ground. <laughs> he's human. Oh my god, Buffy. Oh, I'm surprised he got up from that so quickly. He's all alone. Everybody loved him. And now he's all alone. Who are you talking? Oh my god. Why have they got to build one? Why couldn't... I'm obviously not abdicated this is a good idea, but kidnap a girl and use her. Obviously, that, that's awful as well, but why kill her and build a girl? I hate watching sport. I find it so boring. <laughs> He's got into the uh, spirit of it. Go Razorbacks. I just think it's rather odd that a nation that prides itself on its virility should feel compelled to strap on 40 pounds of protective gear just in order to play rugby. <laughs> Such a normal strategy for a first date? Dissing my country's national pastime? First date. She called it first date. Did you just say a date? Yeah. You noticed that, huh? Yeah, so did I. Perhaps you should uh, circulate nearer Let's the field. Go away. So oh, no. <laughs> Pour your drinks on them. How would he get there without anyone seeing him? Obviously, American football was his life. He can't do that again. So Cordelia's still the target then. <laughs> that was well timed. She's beautiful. No! It's bad luck for the groom to see the bride before the wedding. <laughs> We only saw part of her, to be fair. I won't scream, I promise. Cordelia? I think you're going to scream. <laughs> <laughs> you were always good to me. Always noticed me. So, to thank you, I'm going to chop your head off. And when you're finished, you won't go out. Right. You won't run away. But we can hide together. So the logic is, if she looks like him, she won't want to go anywhere, so she'll stay with him. Get Cordelia! Just wheel her out. Untie her on your outside. Ah. Hello. He's a strong whatever he is. Is he a zombie? Undead. She's mine! Probably for the best. So those two kids gonna get away scot free with all this, or? I just wanted to thank you for saving my life. Do you mind? We're talking here. So where were we? <laughs> Wondering why we never get dates. Yeah. So why do you think that is? <laughs> Missed opportunities, perhaps. It'll be morning soon. I should probably go. I think he should probably go. More importantly. That was a really good one. Really enjoyed that one. Um, the sort of the twist that uh, the brother was still alive. Um, so the younger brother Chris did bring him back, um, and then they tried to make a girl um, for him, so he had company. Um, it's at the end. It looks like they've kind of got away scot-free with it. There are no repercussions. I mean, they both, I'm assuming, dug up the bodies of three girls um, and then chopped them into bits. I mean, it's that desecration of a corpse. I'm pretty sure there's a, a charge for that. And I bet it's a, a prison sentence, I should think. Especially for three. Um, and then they were both both attempted murder. It 
Chris may be um, an accomplice. The other kid was more involved, but I, I think they'd be. Um, um, I, I think they could probably both be charged with that. And then the other kid has, um, attempted murder again. <laughs> he tried to kill Cordelia twice. All right, maybe attempted murder that second time and kidnapping the first time. It's perhaps some more appropriate charges. Uh, anyway, whatever, there's some serious charges involved and it looks like nothing happened. I'm not sure that's great. Um, you know, families of those kids that they dug up and chopped to bits, they're going to want some uh, um, uh, payback for want of a better word, but um, justice. There we are, a better word, justice. Um, and the the brother, that Darrell, um, obviously it wasn't his choice to come back. His younger brother brought him back and then he wanted company. Um, he had that moment where he was at the game and he saw the, the game being played out and he obviously knew that he couldn't do that anymore. Um, and at the end, he went back into the fire to uh, try and rescue his love. What's left of her or what bits were of her. I wonder what happened to him. I mean, I'm assuming he was burnt to alive <laughs> can he die again or I mean, would he be burnt to a crisp and his body's destroyed I'm assuming they didn't find his body in the fire um, I don't know, it just raised too many more questions and things who knows but it wasn't mentioned so we don't know what happened um, and then we also got the little side story of Giles and uh, Jenny Callender they seem like a nice couple, so that's quite cool. Uh, yeah, Giles made a bit of a hash of ask him, uh, but she did the did it instead, and it seemed to work out all right. So we'll see what happens there. Yeah, really enjoyed this episode. It was a good one. Um, let me know what you thought about it in the comments below. Um, but yeah, this is the quality going forward. Looking forward to the next ones. So I shall see you for the next episode. Be seeing you.